Welcome back to the third part of this tutorial. So what we need to do now is when I click on these very event here and I select whatever name I expect names to just display the score that they've achieved in there. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to exit out and uh, get that working. I'm going to have to create some functions. So let's come right down here. All right, so the, for this very first one here, see this box here, I wanna start with this one. So let's start by saying the following. So I'm gonna copy, let's just copy this. And right underneath here, Let's create a function, a new function for that. We'll come right down here. Paste that in here. And the name of this function is just going to be known as uh, CHK player. CHK team one. Team one players. And underscore check changes so i'm now going to add some more argument in here so that's going to be for the system system dot uh windows dot forms and that is going to be for the checkbox so i'm going to say dot checkbox okay and that very checkbox that's going to be the player checkbox that's the player checkbox all right as you can see it is private Okay, next time we're gonna do is I'm going, I'm going to declare some variables in there. First one is going to be for running running points. So the running point that I'm referring to is just this very one here. Okay. So running point, let's go back in here. Running point that will be equals. I'm going to get it to convert dot to int 32 in 32 whatever we have in here let's check out the name of this that is running this other one yeah lbl running okay so say lbl running dot x Dot text. Okay. Now what is the name? Yeah, I guess the name is right. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, LBL running. The text. Okay, so let's take care of these errors first. This square braces should actually be underneath here, so let's take care of that there. Okay, the next one is going to be for long jump. So I'm going to copy this and just run it right here. Not long jump and so on. Total is about five, so this one is going to be long jump points okay and this is long jump lbl long jump that's the name of that it's label lbl long jump i think this is uppercase right 
Next is going to be football. Football. And this is going to be LBL football. It should be a purchase. Right. Then this is going to be table tennis. Table. Top case team. I'm right here. Okay, and finally, this is going to be swimming. With a very good name is swimming. And this is going to be LBL swimming. Okay. So that is sorted. Would I represent every single component that you guys are looking at here? So the next thing I want to do now is to actually create a variable. So let's come back in here. First, another variable. This variable I'm going to call it team. Let's say team score. Team one score. Yeah, that's fine. It's team one score. That's going to be equals convert dot to spring whatever we have inside lbl team one score so let's accept that so that is sorted brilliant and what we then want to do and the next thing we want to do now is to actually update the score for each sporting event so to do that what i'm gonna do is uh, you see this very team one score grab all of that let's paste it right on the link here and um, what is gonna happen is for each score the function we have to call an update score so i'm gonna have to write another function that's going to be called up this call so first of all let's just say update update score that we end up with an error because we don't have a function call of this call just yet and what are we updating is going to be chk running okay so the box of the running is there, comma, and I'm going to get hold of uh, the player check box. This is the one here. Let's paste it right there. And I'm going to also grab hold of the running points, the comma, and also the team score team one score to end that with semicolon there so the only error we have it now is this one for this score so that should take care of running so we need to repeat the same thing for all of these other ones so i'm going to copy all of these And just paste it right on the menu and then it around. There we go. So let's just change this. So this one is going to be for jumping, long jump actually. CHK long jump. Paste. And here yeah, that's going to be long jump. The other one. long jump point there and i'm going to repeat the same thing for this one that's for football and this is going to be for football grab all of the football points let's paste it there that's for the football Okay, so I guess you get the whole idea. I'm just going to speed that up for the others. 
okay that is done but we now need to add this very variable here team score into this um, let's see this very one here was the name lbl team one score grab all of that back in the quotes come right down here first so we say dot text that's going to be equals team one score and i will have to convert that to a string and so that's fine there we go so the very first one is taken care of so this error don't worry about that we'll take care of that shortly okay so let's take care of this function so i'm going to call that let's come right down here i'm going to say private integer update score the update score is going to take in the following argument so let's grab all of everything in here grab all of that paste it right in here that's for the checkbox and events comma the event is going to be for the checkbox event checkbox and next is going to be comma let's say system dot and i'm going to add the play player checkbox that in there comma and i might as well come down here and just add into your points comma and um, integer current score there we go so let's add statement block okay as you can see the function is actually private which means it's only accessible within this class so now let's use an if statement so if event checkbox dot check i'm going to have to accept that percenter okay if that is checked and if the player this very one if it's checked as well grab all of that the player okay let's say If player is checked, if player is checked, then I want the current score here. I want to add plus one, please. So let's grab all of that. Is that in it? That is going to be plus equals points. This very one. Is that right there? Intercentral. Else, okay. Else, current score is going to be minus. I will come right down here and just return. Return current score. There. So that should actually take care of update. As you can see, update score, the error is gone. Okay, and what you then need to do is to assign the common event handler to all players. So to do that, I'm going to have to create another private function. Let's say private, come right down here. Name. 
let's make sure it's redeemed yeah let's come down right let's see okay press enter private void I'm going to call, call it initialize yep let's say initialize event handler event handler and come right down here let's enter statement block initialize event handler so the very first one that i wanted to initialize that's going to be my first player so we say chk player one player one here and we just say dot check check changed and that is going to be equals plus equals right so let's say sender and that is going to be for argument e come right down here turn that to an e okay so this is meant to be plus equals right so here now we then say chk player so chk team player team player it's meant to be team players that is the name i believe it's called team players yeah that's it team player one okay underscore change yeah check change check changed let's go check change and i'm going to say send events send events is that in the end and that is going to be comma and who are we sending it to is actually sending it to chk team one player and that's it the very first one is officially taken care of we have five in total so i'm going to copy this my down paste 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 and just change this to this is two, three, four, nine, five. And repeat the same thing here. That's five, four, three, two, one. Okay. I think I am done with that. One more thing that is left now is this initialize event handler. We meant to call that inside the form initialize. Let's go right up here. Here. Let's call that in here as it's not gonna work. Okay. So let me try this out now. Let's run it and see. We can run. Yeah. Now, if I select running and I click on Hutton Johnson, check that out, guys. You see that? So let's say Travis is running as well. John is running. Sally is running. And Alan is running. Brilliant, guys. That's good. Okay, let's click on reset. Yeah now working so i've actually taken care of these group box here so we need to take care of these other ones so all i just need to do is just copy so the whole process can be is exactly the same so i'm going to copy this now this is for the very first group box here 
the second group box i'm going to just copy everything i have in here see that copy and just paste it right underneath there the name is player one so i'm going to change that to two so that error is gone so everything here will be changed to two change the variable to two and this one i think that's fine change this one to two as well team two there we go this one as well there there we go and this finally there i've just taken care of the second function have a look at it now now that is taken care of update remain the same and we come right here to get it initialized we need to assign the value here so let's copy all of these and paste and underneath here to change this to team 2 because that is the name that's 2 all of this add 2 and es right here let's change this to 2 as well 2 2 there and right here change this as well and that is it done okay so i'm going to run this now click on run select yeah and put in montana there we go look at that as you can see this one there's nothing happening here okay all right that's fine so let's take care of three and four and exit yeah so for three and four i can just copy all of these and just change them around they might give me error is that it there let's take care of these ones just change this to three and four that is three okay this is four and here that is three as well have that error because this is does not exit exist here this is gonna give me a run swim then I'll take care of that now and here that's gonna be four this is three right okay that's fine now let's go up there and take care of these ones i'm going to create these two functions for number three and four so just copy this copy paste and this become number three three and here that is going to be three almost there guys see that that's a very nice way and very easy way to create your own tournament scoring system and here that's three three here 
If you come right down now you see that the three the arrow of three is gone so let's take care of number four okay let's come right down paste and change this to four and here yeah, four four here four. now look this will be four and that takes care of the function that actually drives the calculation all right so if I come right down you notice the error is gone inside the initialize event okay so take it from the top here yeah? let's take it from number one look here yeah, number one from here down here it's exactly the same lines of codes maybe I should just put it line in there that's where the functions okay okay so from here is team number one team two team three team four and there that's where the updates the calculation takes place and here each of them is then assigned to their respective event or respective score inside the initialize event okay so that is that done so i'm going to save and let's try that out click on run let's see now run here we go let's check out Fermi wheels, very good. What about Gunsmith and Stalin? Very good. So let's see for long jump. Okay, so and that is it, guys. Turn the total, and that's how you create your own tournament scoring system in C -Shark. So with that guys, I'm gonna call it the end of this brilliant tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoyed. Please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel. You all have a nice day now. And bye for now.